right, so we're leaving work. Uh, we're gonna work on a swim adventure tonight. It's gonna be pretty interesting to say the least. So let's see if we can head to the YMCA or we're gonna head to our pool and it's like 70 degrees and we're gonna have to put on the wetsuit. So follow and let's see what happens. All right, we're going to the Y, so we'll be in here in just a second. All right, we're almost to the pool. Here's the pool, yay! So we had a uh, 221 pace and we did 2,500 meters in an hour. And today's technical tip is going to be when you're swimming, keep your legs together, uh, you know, where they rub almost. And when your legs extended, give it a little bend when you kick. And always remember, four strokes, breathe, you know, to the left or to the right, depending on, you know, what you can do. So let's get out of here and get changed. All right, we're leaving the Y, going to the Ka. That was just an excellent, excellent swim. The good thing I like about the Y is it's nice and quiet since everything's changed. There's not a whole lot of people that come, so you pretty much get the pool to yourself, you get a gym to yourself, you know, you get a lot of things. So let's get out of here and get home. So my thoughts about the training tonight went really, really well. Uh, I got this thing that I've been trying where I don't look at my watch. I do it like a blind pace just to see if I can get a feel for, you know, how my body reacts to a certain pace. And I was perfect. I wanted to do an hour. It's like a 2.13 pace, I think, 2.12 pace, something like that, nonstop for an hour exact. And that's what I ended up at, at 2,500 meters exactly. It was one hour and like a few seconds. But that just means that you're in tune with your body, 
you're feeling your pace and everything is just it's on target everything is just doing great and then you know sometimes you have those training segments you know those PB's and you just like push everything like as hard as you can uh, you know sometimes you don't even cool down sometimes you just push the whole training segment and you know definitely push for that tempo but not tonight tonight was just nice and easy pace knock out the training feel good about it you know like you're on top of the world it's like some days you feel like man I'm like up here and some days you're some days you're like down here or even down here but most days I feel like on top of the world man I I just I love training I love triathlons I love what they're all about um, I love watching their stories their stories are you know very very inspiring to me it just I don't know it just hits home it means a lot so let's get to the house and uh, get something to eat gonna be the video tonight guys want to thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that little like button or the subscribe I think I'm up to 17 18 subscribers now I'm pretty excited I'm not gonna deny it I'm getting up there in subscribers so that's important that way eventually you can get recognized by YouTube's so tomorrow is weight training you know it's one of my favorite days of the week is weight training you get to work on your core you get to strengthen your core and if you have any stress throughout the week you get to burn that off as well so that's a good thing about core day weight training whatever you want to call it so I will see you guys in the next video have a happy and safe, you guessed it, Thursday. Ta-ta.